Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on cleaning an uh, ink cartridge. I'm going to try a couple of different methods here. I went to print something yesterday and this thing just uh, would hardly print at all. And the black cartridge, this one right here, is two thirds of the way full. And yeah, I did run a, uh, a clean sequence you know, through the program and nothing happened at all. So we're going to try a couple different techniques here and see what we can do. With this, I'm gonna be focusing on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, do the alcohol swab on the bottom here. Get all that cleaned off. Yeah, I see that. Then you also want to reach in here, the very back. You see those little leads back here? No, my hands in the way, but yeah, but you want to. Rub that, rub that off, get that cleaned off. You know, I got a cat that likes to lay on this thing, and even though I keep it covered, you know, cat hair can still get into some of the most incredible places, right? So, there's that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this puppy and I'm going to get set up and do a couple of different methods of getting this cleaned, and we'll be back to check it out. All right, guys, we're back. Now I got the cartridge right here. I cleaned the uh, side rubbing alcohol, cleaned the uh, inside of the uh, mounting seat where it goes. Now the next step I'm gonna do, really, really hot tap water. Really hot tap water. I'm gonna pour just enough in the bottom of the saucer, just to submerge and soak this bottom area right here. This is where all your little ink jets are. You don't want it submerged to where you have this all uh, submerged in water. Well, we're gonna make sure we have just enough. Yep, there we go. You guys see, see that ink coming out there around it? What we're gonna do is we're gonna let that sit there for actually several minutes. Then we'll return when I put it back into the uh, printer and run it through and see if we have good results. So stay tuned. Be back in a few. Okay, and we are back. Ink cartridge. I definitely have uh, what appears to be a good flow of uh, ink when I wipe on that now. So I'm going to pop this puppy right back in here. Hopefully I can uh, get it the first try. Yep. Click. Okay. It's all loaded in. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my uh, maintain your printer program on here. Well, oh, it's automatically gonna do a page anyway. Probably good. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's definitely better than uh, yesterday. Yeah, okay, so uh, looks like I don't have to actually run a, I was gonna run a, uh, a cleaning procedure on the uh, cartridge again, but it looks like I don't need to. So just in review, you know, take your cartridge out, rubbing alcohol, wipe off the uh, connections on your uh, cartridge, wipe off the connections inside the printer, you know, where it sits at, then uh, take it out, set it in super hot tap water, just submerging the print head where the ink comes out. Don't You don't want to totally cover it in water. You're going to be all screwed up. Let it sit there. I mean, I didn't let mine sit there that, that long. Ten minutes. Came right back, and yeah, you know, it's actually printing again. So that's all there is to it. You know, save yourself 20, 30 bucks, you know, rather than tossing out an ink cartridge, you know, because you haven't used it in several months. Really sad. I've only got tired of it myself and decided... Screw this. I'm not going to waste uh, two-thirds of a cartridge of ink.